I am back. Talk about what happened to me last week, which quite honestly, it was life changing, not to be dramatic. So I was uh, diagnosed with COVID. And what was worse about that is that I had pneumonia to go with it. So, of course, that means I had to go to the hospital, and it was a, a hard experience because I had to go in there by myself. And, you know, they're running all their tests and everything, and, you know, I can't talk to my husband, couldn't really talk to my family. I was there, and they put me in a room on the COVID floor. You basically have your two options. You either do the blood uh, plasma transfer, which will have antibodies to help you out, or you wait it out and we'll see what happens. So, of course, I went ahead and did the blood transfer and everything. And, of course, once I got it done, you just had to wait. And, my goodness, that was the most hardest thing, you know, because at this point, uh I'm stuck in the hospital bed, not able to do, you know, all the things that I always want to do. So during the whole time I was in the hospital, I couldn't breathe. Uh, the fevers were nonstop. And all you really have is you and your thoughts. I mean, yes, I did have my cell phone and I was able to call my, you know, my family and things like that. But really i had all that time for myself and there's a couple things that i came to realization while i was in there so i have definitely learned that you know tomorrow's never promised and never take um, your day for granted because it disappears just like that it could have went any other way and i'm glad that i'm better now but during that week I felt like there's some days I didn't, wasn't going to make it. Another thing I have definitely learned is that to spend time where it's important to you. That's including things and people. And that's including, you know, people who care about you and things like that. And also, time is valuable. So that's why you really need to take time for yourself and to not let anything just bog you down. And I understand we can't not always have perfect awesome days, but at the end of the day, always remember about yourself. And always do things that you know you're passionate about. Right now for me, I'm passionate about makeup. I'm passionate about what makes me feel happy. And I always had this issue where I always worry about what other people thought after that experience, never again. I'm going to do things that makes me genuinely happy no matter what anyone thinks, you know, with good reason, of course. <laughs> For anyone who thinks that COVID is not a big deal, it is. And then also, I mean, I understand why people who have poor health or who are older die from this disease. It really, it depends who you are, unfortunately, but it really takes a toll on your body and makes you think of life decisions. So to add that there were people that died on the same floor that I was on. So put that in perspective. So thank God I'm here. Um, thank goodness that I am able to still breathe another day, do whatever I would like to do. And I have learned from this experience to only, you know, stress about the things that actually matter. Uh, money, materialistic things, they can be gone in an instant. And friends, family, um, that is something that is priceless. And to also not to... You know, do things because you want approval from others. Do things for you. And just go out there and enjoy life. Anything that you want, work for it. Just go for it. Don't have any regrets. Don't have any fears. And I'm just happy that I'm here today. 
So hopefully y'all guys will see more, uh, more me. Definitely hit follow and let's keep on rocking and rolling.